Hi guys. I know I'm sorry the iCAD is late, a day late, but I'm making Sunday's iCAD. And uh, I watched um, a movie today, The Fault in Our Stars, with my sister-in-law, Louise. And uh, it was a really sad movie. I mean, the two of ended up crying at the end of it. Um, and I thought, I was thinking about it and I thought, I want to try and um, do my eye cards for, like, the movies I've read that, like, this year, eh, the movies I've read, the movies I've watched this year and the books I've read this year and try and do an eye card for them and... I know that some of the movies will probably be like a couple of years, like from a few years ago, because I watch numerous things. Um, so I thought I would do just a wee reminder for me when I'm watching the movies, how I feel while I'm watching the movies. Am I watching them alone or am I watching them with somebody else? So I thought it'd be fun to do something like that. And I do watch quite a lot of movies. If I don't watch movies, I'll watch like a lot of box sets from um, TV shows. So even if I do maybe one or two for that as well. So today's one is going to be the fault in our stars, and um, I don't know. It, this doesn't need to be the same iCAD as your iCAD. Doesn't need to be obviously the same as mine because you maybe watched a different movie or whatever but if you want to join in with me with doing these iCADs then you're more than welcome to um, it'd be a good wee reminder for next year to see what movies you liked what ones you didn't like how it made you feel and stuff like that so it's kind of like journaling but journaling about how the movies affected you as well so and TV shows and whatever Just and then on the back we'll just write a couple of wee lines uh, as I say who you were with when you watched it when you watched it um, how you feel, how it made you feel while well, we were watching it. Mine was kind of sad. It made me feel sad, but also kind of happy at the same time because it was like a romancy one. But obviously, you have watched different movies, so you can do whatever one you like. And as I say, if you just want to do something like mine or whatever to play along with me, then that's fine. But I'm going to actually start. I know that we take turns on a Sunday once a month for the iCads. But I'm going to be doing, like, a series. I went, like, basically mine when I'm doing... Every time I watch a movie or finish reading a book or something like that. Because I'm trying to read a lot more now. Because I've got the Kindle now. So I'm starting to read a lot more. So I thought it'd be fun to do it with my books as well. And do, like, a little memory of the book type thing. Um, So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start mine. I'm actually doing mine with nail polish today. Um, because I can't be bothered digging up my paints and all that, so I want to just do a quick. I know it's not going to be that quick with nail polish, but um, this one is NYC and it's called West Village. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to. I'm not even going to put it on the background for background because this will just cover it anyway. So I'm just going to do blue for my sky. And yeah, this could take a little while, but I'll do a wee bit and let you see basically what I'm doing and then obviously I'll pause it because I'm not wanting you to sit and watch me like really calm in a thing with nail polish because it could take a while because as I say, it's quite a small brush I've got and I'm not really wanting to use one of my like actual brushes for it because then it's going to ruin my brush. So... I'd rather just do it with nail polish. And I'm not really caring that it's going on darker on some bits than the other and it's no all completely covered. Um, but there was a quote in it and like in one part it's like his mate and his girlfriend and they'll be safe forever. And uh, in other words, forever, I love you forever. And they just kept saying the word forever. Uh, instead of saying I love you, it was forever, forever, forever. So, um, there's a bit where the other two get together and their word is okay. So, basically, he'll say to her, 
okay and she'll say okay back again so that's what I want to use for this but there is a difficulty because the first okay is a question and on the stickers I've got it doesn't have a question mark on it so I don't know how I'm going to deal with that one I might need to draw like a question mark on myself with my correction pen or something like that I don't know yet so as I say I'm just back from my brother's um, I stayed there last night I went through over for my dinner and I ended up staying because we were watching Being Human because we have to catch up on a lot of that because we've like missed a good few episodes so we can try to catch up on that and then um, me and Louise ended up watching we were going to watch um, The Fault in Our Stars last night uh, but it turned out Louise was too tired and I was pretty tired myself so we um, but by the way I, I I advise you to maybe wear a mask or something with this or make sure you're in like a ve well ventilated room because <clears throat> I haven't and I'm choking in and stuff so I want it to kind of look like a nighttime sky and as I say there's some bits on here that are kind of thicker than the others which I kind of like because it's given me a cool kind of texture as well and I know I said that I wasn't going to have you sitting watching me doing this but seeing as how I'm talking at the same time then it's cool so I ended up staying last night and um, we had Chinese tonight for dinner which was nice and uh, then Stephen came and dropped me off and now I'm back home and I've got time to do this. <laughs> Last night, like yesterday, I didn't have a clue what kind of iCAD I was doing because I'm like, what am I going to do? It's like nearly every iCAD I do or whatever is like basically all the same. It's all like book print and book pages and stuff like that. So I thought I want to do something different. And I couldn't think of a prompt for it either. And then, as I say, I watched that movie with Louise today and um, it gave me the idea. I kind of had an idea that I was going to do the movie list type thing. But what I was just planning to do was just write out a list of the movies I'd watched. I wasn't actually thinking of doing, like, an iCAD with it. And then I thought, well, I'm stuck for an idea for an iCAD and... Um, I was like, why not do the movie quotes type things, movies I've watched. So that is what I'm doing today. And uh, I'm going to pause you in a sec, I'm just making sure that the white bits are gone. As I say, I don't mind the lighter and the darker bits, but I don't want white to be shown. So I'm just trying to clean it up a wee bit, just to... Uh, So it's no like really noticeable white marks and stuff like that. The white coming through. And I really like how this is turned out. Actually I like the way it's like dark and light. And it does kinda look like a nighttime sky. In fact it kinda looks like a an ocean as well. Like a stormy ocean. I'll hold it up and show you, but I'm gonna dry it obviously. You see, so it's kind of textured as well. So obviously some bits are thicker than the others. So I like it. It's kind of cool. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to dry it quickly, and then I'll be back. I'm back, and it's kind of dry. It's not completely dry yet because what I done was I don't know if you'll see it. Can you see the? sparkles as well. I don't know how well you'll see it but 
Yeah, I kind of added sparkles on it as well so that you can see. I don't know why I'm asking if you can see because obviously you can't answer something, but hey, oh. Anyway, <laughs> basically, I just added some of this on it. It's just glitter, normal glitter, nail polish. Obviously, you can't see that well because the lights are shining, but it's just normal translucent or whatever you call it, nail polish, just glittery. And it's see through, so. And I did some of that on. I'm thinking of adding this, but I'm not sure because I do want to add some of these on. Yes, this is my tub of sequins. Oh, well, you see how much I've got in it. There you go. This is why <laughs> people it's had happy me love me. has got the big bags of sequins because I've got tons to go around. <laughs> My brother was actually like showing me some at um, Christmas time there. It was like the pound shop had, just had some Christmassy ones, and I was like, "Eh, no, I've got plenty to do. Maybe <laughs> like these are celebrate and stuff like that." So I'm looking for stars. I want. I've got a lot of silver stars, but I want some different coloured ones as well. And then I've got different colours on here. There's a pink. Mere silver, reddish kind of pinkish colour. Oh, pink. So I don't know whether you just use uh, a green one. These sequins or use this plus the sequins. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I pick some of these stars out. So as I say, I don't want it to be all just silver I want it to be a bit colourful as well but what I could do if I really wanted to is paint the stars myself with my nail polish right I see how this will work this probably isn't the best colour to do it but it might not show up as well but I could just paint them myself. See, with the nail polish. And hopefully that dries. <laughs> Maybe I should have thought of this before. So, I don't know, should I put that on? I think I will. If it's a harm. And you can't even see the card. Uh, I've brought you up a bit, that's why you bring it down. There we go. So I'm just going to put this on, screw it. And we'll just put it about here. Because it is about fault in our stars, so I don't know how well that's going to dry in, but we can just add these other ones on just now while I'm waiting. Do I put it on my Mod Podge or do I put it on my tape? A oh, pretty stick. I think we'll try it with some pretty stick. So, I'm going to put my OK up here and my other OK down here so we want kind of them to go round about and I'm not doing them in any like certain colours I'm just going to stick them on as I see fit it's where I want them to go really and we'll put an always silver one down here so I kind of want OK to be up there and then an OK down here and I might just do it with my correction pen. So we'll have some stars up here. And if that star's not good enough, then I'll just use that for something else once it dries. Should have really thought of that before I started this. But hey ho. And I'm going to put 
another one down here. And another one up here. Just to like that. And then I'm scared to do this with a pen because I might make a mess here. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Did I just maybe tear up that paper for and write that one out? Oh, I'm scared in case I make a complete mess of this and this isn't even the proper pen that I want to use. Or is it? No. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know whether to write this on a scrap piece of paper and just glue it on. I might actually do that. I've got my envelope here that I got from my birthday from my friend Mandy. So what I do is just take a bit off. Or can I be real or not? Definitely, I'm going to do it and then I'll get another bit and put the other bit down there. Make sure it's glued up enough. Put that down there like that. Because that is the thing about art, and it doesn't need to be perfect. And yeah, my writing is terrible and this might not be perfect. Maybe people have better ideas than what to how to add it or whatever you are doing. But this is my way of doing it. And we all kinda have our own style of doing things, so yeah, so I like that. I'm just gonna put okay. There we go. So it's kind of like them writing love notes to each other as well, so. And a lot of it, like, in the film, it was like showing you the text messages and stuff, so that kind of could pass for that, I suppose. But really, I should have inked it edges, but oh well. So, there we go. What I might actually do is outline uh, go down to star with some more areas. And I'm doing this on camera because my art journal was rubbish and I added a bit more to it after I came off the camera and that's why I posted the picture as well. And uh, I was kinda mad about that that I didn't actually do it on camera. It was really Quite a bad video, I think. I was quite disappointed in it. And, uh, But I guess everybody took it the wrong way and they get the gist of what, it was, what the prompt was and stuff like that. So it worked in a way. He's understood basically the message behind it that it was about hope and what gives you hope and what you hope for, so, yeah, so this is my, I'm going to go down the thingies 
Jay's Bay look. I could go down the Jay's Bay black, but um, I think I'll just do it with this because it looks kind of cool as well. And I like this because it's kind of like stars as well, like stardust. So it's like little clusters of stars in the sky. So it's kind of cute as well. Need another couple of bits around here. So, I think we're done. What I need to do now is drag it and write on the back. So this is what I've got. Okay. I look a mess, don't mind me, but so this is the finishing result. I think it looks kinda of cool. So there we go guys. Just a nice happy well happy, say happy, but a nice eye cat. And I, I'm a late night of that, doing it for the movies that I watch and stuff. So I definitely think I will do that. Um, what I'm going to do is, I want to go around the edges with something, but I don't know what. So I might use this just to ink it a wee bit. I don't want it like all blue around the edges, obviously. So I'm just going to. Oh, maybe this is a bad idea. I don't know. I just want to kind of ink around the edges, make it stand out a bit. I don't know if I like this, but yeah, we'll see. I just want to get right around the edge. I should have done it with black, but I don't know where my black nail polish is, so. I'm just going to do it with this. I'm not making it perfect like edging just to get a wee stand out a wee bit. Like so. This could be a mistake but if it is I can always go back over it with the blue so it doesn't really matter. If it ends up a disaster I can always go back over it and that's a good thing about using the nail polish. So, I think this just adds a little tinge, tint to it, just adds another wee tiny bit of colour. As I say, I'm not doing it perfectly, I'm just kind of going over the edges a wee bit just to get a bit more. See, so you can barely even see it, so it's kind of cool in a way. You can a bit, but it's not too bad. So there you go guys, that's the eye cap for today. I hope you had fun doing yours. Now, can't wait to see what you do it on, whether you do it on movies or a book you've read or, or even just something totally random. But I'm liking the idea of doing it uh, for the books I've read and the movies I've watched. So... I think I'll definitely be doing it for that. So, I'm just gonna... Hopefully it doesn't wreck it, but I'm just gonna turn it over. And today's date is the 12th. So I'm just gonna put the 12th or the 1st, 2015. Move it. The fault. My writing is bad, but I don't care. Fault and our stars. Um, I watched. Oh, this the 
with Louise. Enjoyed it. Although it was sad and made us cry. So I've just basically wrote. The movie, so I just wrote, I don't know how you can see it, I just wrote, movie, The Fault in Our Stars, I watched this with Louise and I know my writing is terrible, and I really enjoyed it, although it was sad and made us cry. So, there you go guys, that's basically all I've done, I just basically wrote uh, how it made us feel, so it made us cry, um, and who I watched it with, and the date, and the movie title, so, here we go guys, I'll show you one more time, that's the front, and that's the back, and as I say, I used to even need to put anything on the back, but I just thought it'd be good to write a wee bit, to remind me how it made me feel, and who I watched it with. So there you go guys, have fun, and uh, I can't wait to see what you come up with, and as I say, I think um, I'm going to attempt to watch more movies and read more books, at least get one, a book, one book in a week or one movie in a week or even a TV show and uh, I'm going to try and done, um, do an iCAD about them every week. So that'll be every Sunday that I'll do one, even when it's my turn for the group as well, I'll still do a movie, book, whatever iCAD. Um, and you can join in if you like. Um, basically what I might actually start doing, I don't know, I was thinking what I might actually start doing is posting what I'm going to watch and then by that way if you have got it you can watch it as well and we can kind of um, do the same I can't but obviously we're different styles and it would be fun to do it. Um, so I'll think about that. In fact what I do guys is if he's do if he's are interested in joining me in this journey um of remembering what what, what movies were watched kind of stuff like that um write me a message in the comments and let me know what you, how what you think about it and if he would be interested in joining and we can do like a i don't know maybe a book club film club sort of thing where we like watch the same movie and then we need to uh, do an iCAD on it um, on a Sunday. It's up to you guys. I know that when it's not my turn for the group that obviously Nikki and Josie and Eileen do their iCADs but <clears throat> you can always do two for all the time it takes to do an iCAD. So you can do both. Um, so I don't really know what to call the theme like movie themed iCAD or whatever, like favourite favorite movies or stuff we've watched or I don't know, I'm getting all confused. I hope you understand basically what I'm getting at. So basically if you were to join in and you wanted we could like pick a movie or a book that we all need to read and then basically do an iCAD on it at the end of the week. If not, we can just do whatever, if you like. Obviously, not everybody's going to be able to watch the same movie or read the same book. Um, so, we'll figure something out, I suppose. Um, so, I'm just kind of throwing ideas around. So, if you want to do it, guys, just let me know if it, it would interest you. And we'll try and sort something out. And as I say, it doesn't even need to be the same movie. We could just do what I kids but you need to try and fit in at least a movie or a book a week uh, to take part obviously because it's going to need to be different uh, different iCADs but even if even if you don't have time because I know a lot of people have busy lives even if you don't have time to do a movie or read a book in a week you can always uh, think back to another one that you've watched in the past and uh, 
try and remember how it made you feel when you watched it and uh, do something like that so anyway guys I'm going to go now and uh, just as I say leave my message under the video or if you're watching this in the group and you want to leave a comment under the video in the group then you're more than welcome to and as I say those that aren't in the group uh, that would be interested in taking part on this journey then uh, leave me a comment and a thumbs up um, so I can see how many people are actually interested in doing it. I'm going to do it anyway but it'd be nice to know who's who else is interested in playing along and then it'll be good to see everybody else's videos and see what you all come up with. So I shall speak to you soon guys. Bye for now.